Howdy folks, it's Kato again. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Autobot Pipes WFC K32. And I believe one of the last waves of Kingdom. There might be one more. I'm not sure. I can't keep up with it anymore. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and start looking at War for Cybertron Kingdom Autobot Pipes. It's Kato! So interestingly enough, I went out on a, just a hunch. I was actually looking for Blaster since uh, Blaster was found in Virginia by a friend of the channel, Lone Dragon. I wanted to see if I had any luck finding Blaster. Next thing I know, I see one pipes and a slammer hanging on the shelf, and of course I walked out with them. So, uh, slammer review coming up soon, I should say. I was actually excited for pipes. I really do, because Huffer, to me, is one of the coolest mini bots that we've gotten uh, overall. Uh, I wasn't into, I'm not typically into a lot of recolors that don't have some remolding with them to, to make new characters, but for some reason that Huffer mold I really enjoyed and I was anxious to get my hands on pipes. So first thing we're going to do is take a look at the packaging. As you can tell by the intro, I was in a hurry to get this guy out of the box because I really wanted to see just how he looked and transformed. Even though he's a remold, I had to get him out of there. I'm impatient. You get your typical Kingdom packaging, Autobot pipes, WFC K32. You've got your smaller window there with pipes and alt mode on the front. Really cool artwork of pipes uh, in robot mode there on the side. He is a deluxe class, a small deluxe class, but that's being normal. You've got pipes in robot mode there, alt mode here, 17 steps to transform, kingdom artwork there, words, stuff. Let's see what came inside. You get his gun. Uh, these, I keep them on his arms, which I, I believe, I'll pop a picture up later, but I think that's how uh, the original artwork had him with these were on his arms. But it's just gray paint, looks like pipes. Unfortunately, it's not his actual uh, exhaust pipes coming out of the top, which is a bummer, but I think it looks good. You get two of these. That will hold a nice blast effect on that five millimeter port. I think that looks great. Little hollow underneath, not a big deal. I think they look fine. With all the Kingdom stuff, you get the trading card. I've got the Ark with the Decepticon version of the Ark or card here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have one or two of these already. And you get the instructions. Typical Kingdom instructions, green, black, white, and gray. Interestingly enough, there is an actual transformation difference between pipes and huffer. I'll take a look at that in a bit. I don't know that I'll go all through the transformation, but there is at least one step that is additional, and I really appreciate it because it adds some more character to pipes. And of course, the next thing is obvious, Pipes himself. Absolutely love this dark blue color. It can easily look muted on camera a little bit since it's all basically one color with not a lot going on. Uh, I don't do a lot of toy hacks, but we'll see what toy hacks has to do with this. I think it looks fine. And if you, let's see, I'll set him aside here, pop up a picture of G1 pipes, and I think they did a good job. Uh, as good as they could anyway. I, I wish the wheels maybe weren't hidden like uh, the version of the G1 uh, artwork shows, but I think overall this looks absolutely beautiful. I love Tuffer. I think he looks great in robot mode. Let's get close up and personal. Taking a close look at Pipe's head sculpt, which is one of the major differences. There are really only a few differences. One real engineering difference, a new head sculpt, and uh, I believe a little change on the arms, but we'll go over that in a bit. The head sculpt looks great. He's got that uh, broad face uh, face plate, the blue eyes, the blue helmet, I would call it. I think that looks great. The head will rotate 360, and that is used in transformation. Not a lot of up and down or wobble, but it's not really that big of a deal. Arms, you can see the white arms with the pipes here on the side. I like that. You can take those off, of course, if you want, and use those as regular guns completely up to you i just like them on his arm you've got this venting here on the front looks good very kind of drab chest plate but i think that's probably pretty accurate the arms will 
rotate 360, bend at the elbow just under 90. You've got rotation, a nice tight rotation just above the bicep. No rotation at the wrist, but that's not a big deal. They will go in and out for transformation. You have rotation at the waist, although you might have to get the truck cab out of the way to do a lot of that, but it will rotate 360. Legs go out about that far. You've got up, back, plenty of knee bend because of transformation. It'll actually go all the way over. You've got an upper thigh rotation on that mushroom peg right there. Plenty of toe tilt, uh, enough toe tilt, I should say. And you could do, or ankle pivot. You can use this to tilt the toes if you want. Overall, exactly like Huffer. And I really like it. Autobot logo there on the top. That's one of the big differences here. Uh, like I say, I'm not gonna go over transformation, but where Huffer, you have the cab sitting like this on the top this is it reversed and the way they get away with that is they add a little rotational hinge joint here for transformation so 99 percent the same transformation as huffer but you get this rotational joint so if you want you can give them the huffer look too but this is much more accurate i think to how pipes should look and speaking of Huffer, there are the two side by side. So unlike Huffer, you don't get the shield piece for the truck bed or this splitting rifle here that goes along the truck bed as well. Uh, that's replaced with these two guns. And I think the extra engineering for the cab. There is a different chest piece there as well. And I believe, yeah, the waist is the same. The crotch is different. The leg molding looks to be the exact same. Arm molding is different, and I'll show that more in alt mode, but a very clear difference, not just a repaint, so not so boring that it's just a brand new color of the same bot. To go through the normal comparison process, there he is beside Kingdom Huffer, Puffer, Road Ranger, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. In his alt mode, there's really not a lot to dislike. You can nitpick a few things, like just like Huffer, the arms become the stacks uh, rather than these becoming the stacks. I mean, if you really want to, you can pop these out on the side. I think it makes him look a little too wide, but if you like that, you can do it. It's completely up to you if you want to complete that look of the original. Uh, I'm going to put this right here pop a picture up over to the side of what the original looked like, or at least the artwork. You can decide for yourself what you think of it. Me personally, I love that deep blue. Uh, of course, you can pop the gun up in here if you want. I wish the windows weren't so light. I don't like being able to see all the junk in there. Windshield wipers, the gray grill with the lights and the gray bumper. I think he looks good. If you liked Huffer, there's Really nothing to dislike here. The same little nitpicky thing. Obvious visible hand syndrome. He's just like scratching his own back there. I don't like that it hides the Autobot logo. So I wish there was something to do with the hands. I wish they folded all the way in so this was just a straight stack. But uh, it's also really empty back here. In general, I think it looks really, really good. Now there's pipes and huffer. Uh, most of what you see is going to be straight repaint in alt mode. You will notice that the arms, Huffer has these extra bits here where pipes is a bit smoother. I actually prefer uh, the look of pipes here with the smoother. I think it's more accurate, but it does help differentiate the actual uh, alt modes. And just for the full effect, there is Huffer, Pipes, Road Ranger, and Puffer. And there he is beside Siege Optimus Prime. So to close out, there's really not a lot to dislike in alt mode uh, other than what you already may not have liked about Huffer. The, the hands tucking around to the side, at least they're all a solid line of color, that white so it blends in a little better. I don't like that it hides the Autobot logo. But overall, if you liked Huffer, uh, you, you're going to like pipes. For me, I actually think I like pipes more, just the coloration is better. Now in robot mode, I think he looks brilliant. I love that deep blue. I, I think my most impressive thing is that simple engineering touch of being able to pivot or rotate that cab around 
to give him that more flat look on the front or the top of the cab in all in robot mode that little touch makes all the difference in the world uh, the additional change of the breastplate and crotch plate there and i love the exhaust pipe weapons that go on his arm uh, overall I, I knew I was going to like these uh, new remolds, and I, I'll do a review of Puffer and Road Ranger later. Got them in at around the same time, but they nailed it. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, uh, check out channel membership. All you got to do is hit that join button to get more details on the benefits of that. Subscribe to the other Rejecticons at Sardo News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato.